another episode of Top of the Tower. How are you? I hope you are doing well, and I hope you are busy. ConnectX just wrapped up, and I must say it was a rewarding trip. I had a chance to catch up with some old friends, and I visited with some new ones. I want to thank WIA for letting me shoot the pictures at the golf tournament. I think we had 136 golfers out, and what a great way to kick off the show. From a business perspective, I could not be more pleased with the results. In my 27 years of cultivating relationships in the industry, some of those conversations that took place in Denver, I think they'll reap a great harvest, which leads me into my first topic, geo experience. You know, we all have something we can give back and we can all help each other. Cost a lot of money, go out and execute each piece of the puzzle when it comes to a wireless project. I see an opportunity to help each other when it makes sense. There's a ton of experience out there and it is positioned in the right geography, but they don't work for your company. When you are in the tower business, you always have problems. In my opinion, we do not harness the experience in the geography properly. Now, you will find my idea of helping my competitors maybe as far-fetched, but it will become more of a trend as inflation and cost rise when resolving each one of these problems. An example, if XYZ tower owner has a problem outside my door and I can go and resolve that, then why not let me do it and then just bill it out no different than a TIA or something like that. Skyway, Eric Bondurant, ran into him at ConnectX, and I'm doing the real estate work on some of his assets. And he quickly commented, hey, I appreciate you working on it because you care and you're not treating it as a task. And if you see something out there or you know something, you're gonna let me know because you care. That's exactly right. From go to woe, we care. And I don't want to see anything bad happen to anybody in this industry. You know, good people make good things happen. And that's who you do business with, in my opinion. So let's move on to another topic. And that is being transparent. Transparency, whatever you want to call it. I love it. You know, because it's so important to the sales model whether it's internal or external, being transparent with ideas and suggestions helps make each project go that much smoother and that much quicker. I'm even transparent about the money we're getting ready to spend. Hey, Mr. Landlord, you're gonna get paid X. It's gonna cost us Y, and we're gonna get it done by Z, and your acre cost A, and so on and so forth. Transparency, in-depth communication, in-depth explanation. I proposed an idea to a competitor of ours about me doing some work on their assets. I was very upfront. I'm looking to do business in my backyard where it makes sense and I can get it done and everybody wins. The biggest person though I have to be transparent with is me. I have to constantly coach myself and where I need to be better here or work on this. If I'm not transparent, it's gonna be difficult to execute in real life. If you have rose-colored glasses on and you're not transparent with yourself about your faults and your weaknesses, it's only gonna reveal how shallow you are. So I'm the first to say, I need to be a little bit better over here and I need to work on this over there. So I think those two topics, Geo experience and transparency are great for episode 19. Up and coming travels, well, could be headed to Alabama for the Alabama Wireless Golf Tournament. Hollywood and I are discussing some, some logistics at the present time. We should be stacking some steels soon in the Bluegrass State. And I got one coming up right here in the volunteer state real soon. So follow me on Instagram. Stay safe out there and I will visit with you soon as episode 20 will be right around the corner.